Hello, my name is Kind Death, and today I want to talk about future allied races in World of Warcraft. At BlizzCon, Jeremy Fiesel, aka Muffinus, had this to say about allied races. The system, now that we have it in place, is very expandable, uh, okay. and we do plan on adding additional uh, allied races in the future. We would absolutely love to hear from players what they would most like to play as. We've been hearing a lot of this from players for years, and yeah, we're super definitely. happy to get this feature into their hands, and I know everybody's got a different opinion about what they want to play as. Please tell us. We're like, <laughs> can't wait to hear what you're super jazzed about. So with that said, I thought it would be interesting to ask the community what allied races they would prefer to see next in World of Warcraft. This is the community's chance to let the developers know what allied races that the players would like to play as. The poll you see here is a poll where you could vote as many times as you wanted to on whatever races you wanted to, but I wanted to do something different. What I wanted to do was to give everybody one vote that they could cast for one race. That means no second choices, you can't pick all the races you want, you have to pick one, and only one. When you can only choose one race, you're going to choose the race you feel most strongly about, the one that you're passionate about, the one that you would main with your main character. What I found most interesting in looking at both of these polls, and having seen the results of both of them, is they were done in two very different ways, yet they yielded very similar results. The only real difference is the number of votes that were cast. On this poll that you're looking at right now, there was 7,000 votes. On my poll, there was only about 1,000 votes. Part of that is my poll is only up for about four days, but I'll provide links to both of these polls below the video. The other major difference between our two polls here is the fact that I had almost 50 selections for choices, and this poll only had about 30, and part of that reason is because there's a limitation to how many choices you can have on straw, straw poll. I want to say it's limited to 30. Now, before anybody goes crazy in the comments section below going, Oh, it's not realistic for something like Nerubians to be playable. <laughs> you can't do that. They have six legs or eight legs or whatever. I want to point out that I wanted to kind of go crazy with this poll. It's kind of like the other guy who created this other poll. And I really wanted to give all the options possible for all of the races that we see that are kind of cool in World of Warcraft. Now, I didn't get all of them included, but I tried to include as many as possibly good. I think that's kind of important. Certain things like Murlocs and Naga and Nerubians. I know Nerubians are probably more difficult. Maybe Tolvir would be difficult. You know, how do you get boots on something like that? Um, I think there's creative answers to a lot of this. I think Blizzard is a creative enough development company that they can come up with cool ideas. Except for Void Elves, I still don't make sense. Who is Magister Umbrick? Why have we never heard of him? Why does his name not even sound like a Blood Elf name? This doesn't make any sense. But I digress from my original point. Let's take a look at the poll. So these are the races I included in my poll, as you've probably seen so far. Arakoa, Cursed Arakoa, Broken Draenei, Crocool Draenei, Centaur, Dryads, Wildhammer Dwarves, Frostborn Dwarves, Earthen Dwarves, Leopardomes, Mechanomes, Eridar, Ethereals, Gnolls, Kobolds, Maghar Orcs, Blackrock Orcs, Dragonmaw Orcs, High Elves, Sand Lane, otherwise known as Undead Bloodsucking Elves, Naga, Tuskar, Ogres, Machnathal, they're kind of a half orc, half ogre for those that don't know the lore very well, Murlocs, Mantid, Mogu, Tovir, Vrykul, Saberon, Jinyu, Hosen, Sarak, Nerubians, Kultaras humans, Uncursed Gilneans, Forest Trolls, Ice Trolls, Sand Trolls, Grummel, Draconid, Furbolg, Quillbor, Naraki, Karaji, Moarg, Tonka, Undead Humans like Nathanos Blightcaller, Volpera, and Sethrak. If there are any races that I left out of this poll that you would like to see added as an allied race in the future, please leave it in the comment section below. I'm going to tweet this video out to Jeremy Fiesel in the hopes that maybe he and the WoW development team get to see this video. Maybe this won't make an impact on them. Maybe it will. We don't know unless we can try, so let's give it a shot, guys. Once this video is done uploading to YouTube, I'm going to reopen the poll. For the purposes of filming the video, I shut it off for a while so the numbers would be congruent with the video and they wouldn't continue updating, but it will be opened back up. If you guys want to continue voting on it, I'll 
again, the, I'm going to provide the link in the description below so you can continue to vote on it. Now, I'd like to talk a little bit about the races I would like to see added with all that said, because, hey, it's my video, <laughs> why not? As we can probably already see here, you, you know that High Elves are the most voted for. Um, uh, tr truth be told, I, the top five are all things I'd really like to see. The thing that I've wanted most since Warcraft 2, I've been a, an Alliance homer since day one, but I've always wanted to have playable forest trolls in the game ever since I saw Zul'jin for the first time in Warcraft 2. So I have to admit, one of the 15 votes for forest trolls is mine. So technically, there's only 14 votes. But hey, it was my poll. I figured, what the heck, why not? I was kind of disappointed to see that they didn't rank a little bit higher. But it is what it is. Um, so I'd like to talk about the top five selections. Only one of them were really surprising to me, and that was the Volpera. Now, we don't know anything about this race other than they're going to be in the Zandalari zones for the Horde. Which, yeah, I, I know, we'll eventually get there as Alliance at, at um, 120. But it's kind of weird to think that a race that we haven't interacted with, that we've only seen a couple of screenshots for, would be at one of the top selections. So I found that to be really interesting. Obviously, if you guys have watched any of my videos, you know that I think that High Elves are still very likely in Battle for Azeroth. I did that video before Battle for Azeroth was announced, but we knew that 8.0 was coming out. I still think they're likely. I, matter of fact, I think they're more likely, given the Void Elf storyline, not less likely. They're also likely because of what reason? Cha-ching, cha-ching. That's right, money. First and foremost, Blizzard's a corporation before they are a video game company. So I see High Elves as still a very likely candidate. Um, I was not surprised either by Ethereals. They've been an exceptionally popular choice for a long time. I think there's a lot of cool interactions they could have. Now that we know that Void Elves are coming into the game as well, there could be some cool play off of those two races. Uh, obviously, Vrykul have been a highly requested race for a long time as well. Lots of cool things they could do with that as well. I think they'd probably be more alliance-leaning. Um, Arakoa, I was surprised uh, when I was initially doing this poll. Arakoa was leading for the first day and a half. They were out in front. And then they kind of stagnated and just slowly got more numbers. So they kind of slipped off. And uh, behind Arakoa, Ogres almost had no votes. It was interesting because Arakoa got all these front-end votes and... Ogres had almost none, and then the Ogres almost caught all the way up to him. Uh, same thing with Murlocs. Murlocs caught up to him very quickly. So, um, some of the ones I was kind of disappointed, I thought I'd see more votes on, were obviously the Forest Trolls, like I said. The Naga, I thought, would get more votes. Um, I was kind of hoping the Mantid would, too, because I think the Mantid could be a really neat race to screw around with. And I was really shocked by the fact that more people didn't vote for either the Dragon Maw Orcs or the Blackrock Orcs. They, as you can see, Maghar got quite a few votes, but nobody wanted those uh, skins. Um, another one I was kind of surprised with is I always thought the Grummels were kind of a cute race, but they didn't really get any love either. Now, if I had to choose a faction for these potential allied races, for the Alliance, I would say High Elves for obvious reasons. I think the Vrykul also fit into the Alliance because of their relationship with humans and the fact that they are the ancestors of the humans. There's also the fact that Sylvanas tried to imprison the Valkyr, and the Valkyr are dead women in Vrykul. I think the Arakawa would make a lot of sense for the Alliance too because it would add diversity kind of to the vanilla faction. They kind of share a lot of traits in the theme with the Alliance. I also would probably put Murlocs in there because Punting Gnome gets old after a while and what other cute race could possibly be more puntable than a gnome? Maybe Murlocs? I don't know. I, I, honestly, I think there's more options for the Horde than the Alliance, so I kind of threw Murlocs into the Alliance category. Um, if I had to say for the Horde, probably Volpera. It would add a little bit of diversity to the Horde, give them another cute, pretty race. I think Ethereal also makes more sense for the Horde. It'd kind of be a counter to the Void Elves. Kind of like Eridar would be to the Draenei, so I think Eridar would make more sense on the Horde. Undead Humans, Ogres, and Machnathal 
all make sense on the Horde for, again, obvious reasons. So let me know in the comments below what you think of this list. Let me know if there's any races that you think that this poll missed out on that you would potentially like to see added. If you like this video, please follow, like, and subscribe. Have a good day.